this is the stuff we're making right now. This is the stainless track that goes into the concrete that the rolling gate rollers, the V, v rollers roll on. When I make these stainless tracks, the first thing I do, I'll take some 3 8 316 stainless all thread and I'll use the iron worker here to chop it into pieces. So it's four 20 footers and two 10 footers we're making this time. So I'm putting about every two feet and then one foot from the edges from each end. Uh, that's, that's uh, I think we're putting 10 or 12 each, each piece. I should have the answer to that, but it, I don't. As I'm welding them out, the pieces usually warp. I try to contain it the best I can on the using the jig table, but no matter what I've tried, they always warp. I am already prepared for this, so we'll weld them all out and clean everything up the best we can, put them off to the side for straightening after. I tried TIG welding these. I found out that the, the best method that to, for me is to just stick weld. And as long as I get about 90% of the way around, it turns out really well and it doesn't warp it as bad. When I TIG welded them, it really warps it really bad. It's very difficult to straighten them out. Personally, I know of gates that have been up for 20 years, and if they do break, it doesn't break because of the weld. It breaks where the concrete and the all thread or whatever bolt or whatever you're using that goes into the concrete, like right at the level of the concrete is where it always breaks. It's, it oxidizes there. It's crevice corrosion and just water. Whatever it is, it, it's, it's never really the weld that fails. It's always the, the, the material itself that fails, in my experience. spot where we welded it warped just a little bit but it's enough to make these pieces into useless curved bananas so this is 304 stainless steel and the reason I use 304 is because the 316 it has more better corrosive resistant qualities but it's softer so it warps even more as you weld it and then as the gate rolls back and forth over it over the years it gets more wiggly over time and so a lot of times these are made out of steel and they do just fine so I like to use 304 stainless so it works really well. The idea is just to push push just a little bit each spot and that seems to straighten them out real nice. Not really not really thinking about it too much. Just one little push and a move and a push and a move 
and then when I'm done, she, she straightens out real nice. Okay, so we got a little hump right here. I went a little too far on the first pass, so I'll just mark it. And then I'll put it back in the machine and push it, push it just a little bit the other way. And there it is, the last one. All straightened out again. Again, just fixing the warpage from welding. That's all I'm doing. That's going to do it for me. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for the next one. Every day, making videos every day. Really appreciate it. Over and out.